Hello YouTube! It's been another week. I hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day and wonderful weekend celebrations with yourself, your friends, your family, your loved ones, whoever. Um, and I hope that everyone had a good three-day weekend if you had one. Uh, this past weekend because that was nice and fun. I found a new burger joint that I really like because they have a lot of options for me which is rare because I'm a pretty picky eater so I don't get a lot of options uh, but this place had a bunch of them and had a lot of customizable features that I really liked um, so that was great and delicious and wonderful and then I got to go see the Lego movie which was really heartwarming and had a great story and dynamic and everything was awesome. I was really impressed with it. I didn't see the story evolving to where it did and I was really 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 proud of how they did that because I mean Anybody can make a super cool movie about heroes running around and doing stuff and blowing stuff up and just defeating the bad guy. This was so much better. So yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. It got me thinking a lot about sort of relationships and dynamics because I don't know about you, but I feel like when I was a kid, and I had the opportunity to like play with Legos, there was always that one person in the group who was like the Lego hog, who wanted to like build the massive thing and make it super awesome. And I was that person, I'll be honest. Uh, I was not so good at the whole making sure that everybody had enough Legos to create what they wanted to create. I had this grand design and I wanted to see it through and I didn't care how many Legos I needed or who I had to take them from. So yeah, that got me thinking about sort of childhood dynamics and how we interact with each other and how Legos is such a, I don't know, central thing to that idea. Um, and I think they did a good job of that in the film. And then in thinking about those kinds of relationships, my week sort of evolved into a friendship-centric one, which was awesome. I played quite a few video games. I played with Legos in the Build with Chrome website that uh, Google Chrome has released as part of the Lego movie thing. And then I got to have a really good, really fulfilling conversation with a friend of mine about what it means to have a healthy friendship and what it means to know when to let go and to know when to hang on and fight for something and how to sort of see your own worth and the balance of power and equality and who puts what into a friendship. And that was, that was a really good and fulfilling moment for me. Uh, it was something I really needed to talk about and I'm really glad that it happened. And now um, I have even more social plans with friends for next week, um, partially because of the art assignment, um, though I've modified some of the requirements for the assignment. But I think that talking about meeting people halfway is really important and meeting people halfway doesn't always have to be an exact halfway point. It can be like the friendships where you're putting in an equal amount and meeting each other halfway that way. And I think that that's a really cool thing that wasn't as explored in the art assignment, but maybe will be once people have completed their first assignment. So yeah, um, I'm going to go get ice cream sandwiches in a week with a friend of mine, and I'm really excited about that. But it was a great week for friendship, great week for games, and a great week for Legos. Uh, next week will be friend social events and book coma week. Because, you know, books are friends too. <laughs> and because I have quite a few books on my reading list that I need to get my hands on and get through. And next week is going to be a good week for that. So until next time, don't forget to be awesome. And I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye, guys.